want to say we are in many, in all ways, charismatic. We believe in the gift of spirit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. We, 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 we see, we believe in healing and deliverance. But, but, but I want to say the deception in our circles are so big. And, and it really saddened me that we have created our, our mindset amongst the people where there's no respect for truth. There's no respect for word. Yeah. It's like if it, if it works, it's good. If something is happened, it must be God. Yeah. And, and then there's a few scriptures that they take out and say, look, and they don't see the rest of the Bible. And the lack of that had really shocked me in a way that that when Antichrist really come and stand on oh the my. stage, it, I, I, I don't want to think of how big how broad that deception will go mm -hmm. and i think we, we need to stop up and i think this is just a test almost for us to say hey we need to stop up we we need to that we we when i say we the charismatic people and the people who believe in the gift that we are so easily being deceived and almost willfully being deceived because yeah. when the truth is then coming yeah, 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 yeah. He said that we need a middleman, but, 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 what about other things? And I think, I think too, that this has been building over time. This, this didn't just happen because we see the mentality yeah. of the way the church has been going for a long time where it's a one man show. And this, this concept of what ministry is has been growing and it's become such a part of culture, such a part of what church is that now it's become normal and our deception is no longer deception it's almost normal 